Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for the third week of August 2022 and that will extend from the 14th to the 21st of August 2022. Now the first card that you have, <laughs> it's just been a rough month, eh? I mean the, the readings that I've been doing so far are uh, full of warnings and things like that but hopefully <clears throat> you're going to take this uh, good. Now, the first card that comes up is the card, <laughs> oh, I just don't want to even say it. I just don't want to even say it because it's been a rough go for you, okay? But it talks about addictions, okay? And it talks about being cautious with people who are up to no good. And I told you in the second week, it talked about being vigilant of people who are up to no good. They were people that were aggressive or situations or circumstances where you thought you could trust somebody and you know what, maybe you can't. So just stay the hell away from them, you know? Like be very vigilant in the month of August that you know who your friends are and you know basically who your enemies are. Sorry, I have one solid lip there. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, it does talk about being cautious with people. It talks about um, if your intuition is on high alert, if, you, if something is telling you that it just don't, something's not going down right, something doesn't seem right, get the hell out of there, okay? And I mean, things may start happening for no reason. I mean, you know, it's like you're running for the bus, you miss the bus, and then you know, 10 minutes later, you hear that the bus got in a big accident down the road, okay? This is the type of thing that's happening. If, let's say, you're planning on going on a fishing trip, okay? And holy Frank, you get halfway down the road and you realize you forgot your fishing rod. You got to turn around and go all the way back. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back, you get your fishing rod, and then all of a sudden, the boss calls and he says, listen, I need you to drop some keys off for me. So you say, yeah, so there's another uh, side trip, right? So eventually it's like you're, you may give up and say, okay, I'll go fishing tomorrow. And that just may be what the divine wants. It's almost like certain things are going to go wrong because somebody above is trying to protect you, okay? And it's a female energy. And it's like someone's trying to protect you and they're trying to stop you from doing something. They know that something is going to take place and they're, they're kind of, trying to mess it up on you or screw it up on you so that indeed you will miss it. You'll be safe, okay? So, I mean, it could, it could be either or. It could be something that happens, um, you know, that your car breaks down and get a flat tire. I mean, those are all signs, okay? If you're meant to go, trust me, the car will be ready, the, the fishing rod will be in the back, but I'll tell you something. Pull away from anything where you feel intuitively that you feel something's just not right. Something's just not fitting right with me, okay? Just saying, that's all. I'm just a reader. And this is a general reading. I need to make sure that I put that out there because I don't want people saying, oh, that didn't happen. That'll never happen. That's not going to happen to me. I'm too smart. Well, you know what? I don't know if it's going to happen to you. I don't know if the reading's for you. I don't know if you just tuned in here and you're listening for somebody else, but this is what I got in the cards, okay? And indeed, like, would you go fishing? Would you go boating with someone who was drunk? Would you go boating with someone who was drinking? Would you go boating with someone who was, um, would you go driving with someone who didn't have a driver's license, okay? So those are the type of energies I'm talking about. If you experience fear for any freaking reason, get the hell out of there, okay? Let your intuition guide you. Now, there's also another little thing here. And we did talk about addictions, okay? Now that could be drugs and alcohol, that could be sexual, that could be gambling, could be food, whatever it may be, okay, Sagittarius? But you're feeling a compulsion to do things that you wouldn't normally do. And so that's a, an ethical and a moral type of um, dilemma that you're going to be in because there's that compulsion to do it but normally you wouldn't do it you'd think twice about it okay now it does talk about you feeling a deep resentment for someone or something okay and so perhaps you're going to communicate with someone and perhaps someone's going to communicate with you a deep resentment that they have towards you okay but it also talks about an unresolved personality conflict. So perhaps something that took place in your life, you haven't dealt with it yet. 
you haven't dealt with um, something that happened in the past and happened to you. And so you carry that with you from place to place, relationship to relationship, situation to situation. And so there's that building pressure where that there's that mounting anxiety where you're feeling this buildup of resentment toward another person, a situation, a circumstance, okay? So the next card that you have in the middle part of that third week is you have a communication card. And that's talking about you receiving a very emotional communication from someone else, okay? Perhaps giving you bad news, perhaps telling you about something that they would prefer it of not having to tell you, okay? But there is a communication that's coming in that's very emotional, but also very factual. The very last card you have, and I'm going to show it to you, okay, because I don't want anybody saying I picked these damn cards, okay, but a communication, okay, there's a communication, there's the addictions um, scenario coming up here, there's deep resentments, okay, so you see where I'm heading with this? This third week is a, is a kind of like a leery week, I'm kind of leery about it, if, if I was invited to go anywhere in this third week, I think I'd be refusing, and I'd be staying close to home, okay, to safety, because the next card that you have is the transformation card. Yeah, I can't get any more transformed than that. Okay. But it doesn't mean necessarily death. Now remember, this is a general reading, and you're going to be receiving an emotional communication about an addiction, possibly maybe somebody overdosed. But obviously it's not you because you're the one receiving the message, but it is going to bring up emotions for you that you don't know if you can handle. Okay, So this card talks about a dramatic change, dramatic transformation. It could even be a dramatic transformation of character, okay? Someone is acting different. It also talks about death of the old self. So perhaps you're changing who you are or who you perceive to be or an aspect of your personality. Maybe you're the one that's um, having problems with dependency and so you're pulling away. That transformation, that death card, is the end of that addiction. So you're pulling away from that shit. You're pulling away from that addiction, whether it be emotional, physical, psychological, or mental. You're pulling away and you're wanting to start anew. It does talk about this being a transition time for you, okay? And this is an important transition time. So maybe you lost your license and maybe you're getting it back, or maybe you just lost your license and you're not getting it back. So there are issues, but if, if you were someone that lost your license, maybe you're going to take a course so that you can get it back. Maybe you're vying to change your life in some way, to transform your life in some way. But it does definitely talk about you having, um, you know, you're having feelings of inadequacy in some way, okay? And that's feeding this. That's feeding this anxiety. That is feeding it where it feels like you almost have to do something. You almost feel like you have to strike out at something. You have this feeling of almost like, defiance like damn it i can do this i'm going to do this one way or the other okay and so what i'm telling you is be very aware be very very aware and very cautious of exactly what you're planning on getting yourself into because this is compulsion that you have i mean if you just lost your license and you're feeling a compulsion to get in that vehicle and you've just had a pint of beer just hang that idea up in the closet and close that damn door okay now be very aware of that deep resentment that you have. Maybe you have a deep resentment towards somebody else, and so maybe you're striking out at someone else, or you're angry at someone else, or maybe you're going to jump jump in the car because you're angry and you're going to go cruising down the highway and get in an accident because you're angry at somebody. So it does talk about controlling your emotions, Sagittarius. It does talk about trying to bring some serenity and peace into your environment, not letting anyone goad you into an argument or a fight, okay? Trying to keep your your mind serene and your surroundings very um, peaceful. So that is the third week. Now, the first, the second, and the third week they looked pretty pretty rough on you, you know, and uh, let me check out. Well, the last week seems okay, so I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of good information, but indeed, if there's anybody who has feelings of um, 
anxiety and it's a building kind of like an intuitive type of energy, okay? Where you feel, maybe you feel that somebody uh, is resentful of you, okay? And this person is asking you to go camping on that third week or to go fishing on that third week and they're going to bring the boat. But you have a funny feeling, right? You have this intuitive feeling that, you know what? Mm, something just doesn't feel right here. Don't freaking go. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's, you know, your best buddy. Don't go. If something is telling you, listen, there's something up here. You know, me and this person weren't getting along that great before. And, you know, I, I have some grievances. They have some grievances. And you know what? Just don't freaking go. Why would you take the chance, you know, on accidentally falling out of a boat? <laughs> but also, um... I mean, it could also be you. Maybe you're feeling a bit vindictive and perhaps you're crossing that line from being peaceful to being aggressive. Maybe you're going to get in an argument. It doesn't have to be a fisticuff. It could be an argument. It could be, you know, like doing something to hurt somebody else in some way, okay? And you don't need that shit on the plate. So move on from this freaking third week into that fourth week because positive things are coming. And don't get yourself in any shit. This is the third week, so I'll see you over on that fourth week. Namaste, my friend. Bye-bye.